Hey everyone, it's Sorello here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about the Evolved Dark Caster class. Uh, there are two versions, Legion Evolved Dark Caster and Evolved Dark class, uh, Caster class. Uh, they're all going to go rare, they're only going to be available for a limited time. I don't know exactly how long, and I'll try and update that in the description, or put it as an annotation or a pop-up or something up here. Uh, really cool class, I quite like it. Uh, and I'll show you how to... Uh, obtain that now. As usual, there are two ways of getting the class. You can either go for the Evolved Dark Caster sort of store here and just get the Evolved Dark Caster class. Uh, there was a glitch where the original Dark Caster art was um, displayed, but no more. They've got the proper one, so this is what it's meant to be like if you accidentally bought it because you thought you were getting Dark Caster armor. Sorry, but this is what it's meant to be like and how it's going to stay. Got some pretty cool weapons and items that go with it. Uh, one thing to remember is that these all have legion token alternatives. Uh, it can be quite expensive and I'll just go and show you now. Uh, same as any other place, you just go join Underworld like this. This is the way I will be getting my version of the class. It will require 2,000 legion tokens or 2,000 adventure coins back over there. Uh, you just simply go shops, merge shop, and it's currently in there. This one's called the Legion Evolved Art Caster. So that's 2,000 Legion tokens. Once you have your Evolved Art Caster class, you're going to want to enhance it. I use that same line every time. So you uh, just talk about the passives. Increase crit chance by 12%. So that's pretty good. Damage increased by 10%, which is also pretty good, and then dodge increased by 15 So this is all damage and survivability. So that's uh, some really nice stuff. Now you can probably see exactly what I've got this class enhanced with, and that's with luck. Um, I try and stay away from luck, especially with a class that is predominantly a caster class. But you'll see why, especially with this final move here, why I'm recommending full luck. Um, the mana regain is actually quite similar to the Berserker model. The lower HP you have, the more mana you'll regen. So you'll want to try and keep at about half health or under if possible, but uh, that can be risky. Uh, there is also a rank 10 passive, and it's a 25% damage resist, or at least the design notes say that's what it is. The design notes have changed, I mean, the class has changed a little from the design notes description, so bear that in mind. 25% uh, damage resist, so once you get that rank 10, enemies that would do 100 damage will only do 75. Uh, and this is particularly useful since it's a multi-target class, and it's basically taking, say, three enemies with 300 damage, oh no, with 100 damage each for attacking you, that would take their total 300 down to 225, so it's a noticeable difference. Uh, in terms of your ore enhancements, I feel that... um. The heal for this class isn't particularly great, and so you'll uh, want to use health vamp. Mana can be a little bit of an issue, so that's a possibility. Uh, spiral Carves, the other one. Uh, that said, there is uh, this guaranteed crit, and 10% extra crit chance isn't going to do anything to guaranteed crit. It'll help with the other moves, but uh, it's not as helpful as it could be. Okay, so I'll just take another quick look at the... Uh, stats. I've got 97 hit, which is good. Haste, which is okay. Crit, which is pretty good. And evasion, which is also okay. I'm just doing a quick disclaimer. I'm using Voltaire's guitar. Now this has a static damage range, 156 to 156. I'm not saying you have to use a stable damage range. I'm just showing you the exact average. So if you use an unstable weapon, chances are you can hit a lot higher but you will also hit a lot less some of the time. So this is the exact average. That gives you a good idea. Just remember, you can crit a lot higher, you can crit a lot lower. Just remember that. I'm not saying this is the way you have to do things. Don't comment telling me to use unstable. It's not going to do anything. I'm being informative and showing an average, not showing the highest hit this class can do. That's what you have to go find out. So, uh... You've got your auto attack, which uh, has a decent average crit here. Um, 
Of course, got your first move, which is Overshadow. It's 15 mana. The design notes said it was going to be 16, but obviously in balancing, they've uh, changed a few things. Now, uh, any of you who have an eye for detail know that even with the um, average damage range, this isn't doing too badly. Uh, basically, this move does two things. It uh, lowers your opponent's hit chance by a certain amount, and their haste by a certain amount. I think it's 8 and 7, respectively. Um, and it stacks three times. So, uh, they'll be attacking s slower, and then when they hit, when they attack, they'll be hitting less. No, when they try and attack, they'll be hitting less often. Uh, this works really well, because one of your passives actually increases your chance to dodge. So, uh, you've got a sort of quite a high chance for evading. Uh, now this class is mostly a uh, multi-hit class. The second move shows that. It's called Onyx Combustion, 20 mana, 4 second cooldown, and it hits two targets in range at once. As you can see, uh, when it actually hits, it can do some good damage. Uh, just seem to be unlucky at the moment. There we go. So there's the uh, average crit damage. Remember, it can hit a lot higher or a lot lower. Uh, that's cool. Now you've got a heal. The heal's not great. Uh, this is the one thing you might want to try and put a bit more wiz not wisdom, um, wizard enhancements on to try and increase. As you saw, it only does about 400 damage. Uh, it does affect two other people though, so that's something to bear in mind. Uh, you do get a small heal over time for a bit, but that's only for the person who's targeted. So it's not for everyone. Now the final move is really nice. And uh, there's something really cool to remember. It's got a really cool crit. It's a guaranteed crit on three people. Uh, and that's really cool. Uh, especially when you see that the average damage for this guaranteed crit is 2,600. So potentially a lot higher. Potentially lower. Uh, but you'll notice the decay effect in zeros. What this means is that your enemies can't heal. Now imagine taking this into a blood rut brawl and just affecting three people on the enemy team so that they can't heal. It's pretty cool. It's basically um, Paladin Slayer actually has the same decay effect except it's single target. So uh, you'll be stopping potentially three classes from healing. If you can stop a Paladin High Lord from healing, uh, that's really good. If you can stop a healer from healing, that's really good. So this class may not be quite as powerful as other multi-target classes, but it has that heal. Um, Heal-stopping move, sorry. Uh, and then it's got the decent damage resist. Uh, so I quite like it. I feel that it's a good sort of evolution of Dark Caster, and I think it was clever that they made it area of effect as opposed to single target like the original. Uh, I don't have anything bad to say about it. I quite like it, and I think that stopping the heal is really what's going to make it useful in PvP. Uh, it might be better to use other classes such as Mindbreaker if you really want mega damage at a good survivability rate, but for um, really messing with your opponents in PvP, I think this this is a good class. Uh, and this would work single way, because this is a lot of damage to go um, in a Doomwood Arena, a lot of damage to hit your opponent with and stop them from healing, and then you've got your uh, other cool moves to work with on the way. So uh, that's all for now, and I'll see you next time. I'm going to do a class comparison, a detailed comparison on Dark Caster and Evolved Dark Classes, so you can really see how different they are, but until then, bye!